This is a short comparison between two budget scopes, particularly for air rifle use. So if you are looking for an affordable airgun scope, this might be interesting for you. I compare the Tasco Target Varmin 2.5 to 10 by 42 mm with the Nico Sterling Gold Chrome Air King 4 to 12 by 42 mm. Both have about the same specs, except for the zoom of course, and they are both in the same price range, so they are very comparable in my opinion. I tell you straight away that I prefer the Nico Sterling over the Tasco Target Varmint, and this has several reasons. The first reason is that the Nico Sterling has a more convenient fast focus ring, so you can change the focus for the reticle for your eyes better and faster. Whereas on the Tesco Target Varmint scope, you have a lock ring and a wobbly eyepiece, and you can see that this lock ring moves very unevenly on the or around the scope body, which is something I don't really like. I don't know if this is just a problem with this scope or all Tasco Target Varmint scopes. And you can see when you unscrew the eyepiece that the reticle is wobbling and it doesn't change the position of the reticle but you move the reticle around and I don't think that this will contribute to accuracy at all. Another thing is that the price of the Nikko is lower and it has a lot more to offer. With the Nikko Sterling you get a real one-piece body, whereas on the Tasco you have a two-piece body. You can see this on this gap here. Another reason I prefer the Nikko Sterling over the Tesco Target Varmint Scope is the lens quality. The light transfer on the Nikko Sterling is better. It gives you a brighter image for a longer time. And you don't have the tunnel vision-like effect as on the Tesco Scope when you're looking through the Nikko Sterling Scope. I will throw in some scope cam footage so you can see this for yourself. The depth of field on both scopes seem to be the same, I couldn't tell any difference, but the field of view on the Nico Sterling is way better than on the Tusco scope, and I also like the thinner reticle on the Nico Sterling scope. The adjustment turrets, the two adjustment turrets on each scope seem to be exactly the same. I don't know if this is a copy of this scope or if this scope is a copy of this scope. Each adjustment turret is resettable on every scope. On this Tesco scope you have to loosen three Elm screws and on the Nico Sterling scope you have to loosen three flathead screws to reset the adjustment knobs after re-zeroing in the scope for the air rifle. The Nico Sterling scope is a little bit lighter, a little bit shorter, so it's more compact. It's cheaper, it has the better lenses, and the overall fit and finish is, in my opinion, better. It has 
uh, one piece body which is sturdier than the two piece setting on the Tesco and what can I say more? The Nico Sterling is just the better scope in my opinion.